Okay guys, I've been asked on a few occasions uh, to show you guys how to create a scale bar. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first of all, make sure that your camera view is set to top and then parallel projection. Let's just move that down to the bottom left hand corner. And for the styles, let's just make sure that our endpoints are enabled. And then what I'm going to do is draw a line starting at the origin, which is 100 mil. And because it's only 100 mil, we're not really going to see that very well. So we're going to select zoom extents so that it's the size of the screen. And there it is right there. So that 100 mil is going to represent a scale bar of one 100. And what that means is that for every centimeter, that's going to, going to be the equivalent of one meter. So what we're going to do is then bring this up five mil and bring it across following the red axis. And we're going to then bring it across a hundred mil and then connect these two lines here. And what happens is, as you know, when you connect at least three lines in SketchUp, it creates a face. So what we're going to do, let's just reverse that so that the white face, which is the front, is showing. Then what we're going to do is just create 10 millimeter uh, intervals all the way along until we get to 50. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to click and drag along the red axis and type 10. And then we're just going to bring that up to the top. And then we're going to click and do it again. And you'll notice that SketchUp is automatically telling you where the 10 mil is. So we're going to click there and bring that up following the green axis. And then we're going to do it again. And we're going to do this until we reach uh, 50 mil. So where are we? One, two, three, four, and this is 50 mil. And that's it. And then we're going to find the midpoint on this line and then click drag in the direction of the red axis until it meets this line and then click. Then we're going to go to our materials and we're going to create a new material of black. So let's just type black and then OK. Go to edit, bring that all the way down uh, so that it's black, obviously. And then we're going to click every alternate so that it's distinguishable. And that, guys, is basically our scale bar. So what we're going to do is take off the end point so it's nice and crisp and we're going to make that into a group okay so basically what this scale bar is saying is that each one of these is one centimeter which is the equivalent of one meter and that's one two three four five and then uh Obviously from here to here is another five, but we're going to add in the numbers for this scale bar in layout. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's just save this as scale bar, and then just save it in our computer. Save it in the correct folder and then save. Okay guys, here is my floor plan to scale in SketchUp layout. If I just click on this floor plan, you can see that it's at a scale of one 100. And I have noted the scale in the title block, um, which I say, and it says it right here, one 100. So if we go back into our SketchUp file where we created our scale bar, I'm just going to select that and then select edit and then copy and go into layout, select edit and then paste. And you will see that our scale bar has now 
uh, appeared in our layout file. What we need to do is change the scale of that to 1, 1. We want the actual size to appear. So let's make sure that we preserve the scale on resize and let's just bring the size of the viewport in or, you know, uh, reduce the size of the view viewport. That's just too large at the minute. So let's just bring that in and let's move the scale bar down here. We're just going to include a few numbers and a little bit of text to help explain that a little bit better. So what we need to do is create, well, what we're going to do is put this on a new layer. So let's create a new layer called scale bar. And let's click that, right click, move to layer scale bar. That's great. And then we're going to create text and we're going to keep it on the scale bar uh what have we got here i think it's just for dana is what the default is yeah let's make that 14 and let's just zoom in so we can get a better look at this actually guys what i'm going to do is just change the style of this Let's just bring that few port in a little bit more. If we go to styles and click styles, default, shade it with texture, you'll see that that has become a little bit softer. The edges are much nicer. Let's change that to hybrid. Okay, that's great. It's just to make the edges a little bit crisper and, you know, more uh, precise looking. What I'm going to do is place a zero here and then a five here and a 10 here to help annotate what these segments mean. So I'm going to select text I'm just going to click, double click here, and then I'm going to type zero and just click off that. And I'm just going to click on this zero just to move that closer to here, which is great. And then I'm going to select, oh, the viewport is just getting in the way here. I'm going to right click, copy, click off that, and then click again, paste. And I'm going to bring that all the way down here. And then I'm going to double click and type five. And then right click, copy, click off it, click paste. Bring it all the way down here, double click, and then delete that and change it to 10. So what we're saying is, from here to here is five centimeters, which is the equivalent to five meters. And from here to here is 10 centimeters, and that's the equivalent to 10 meters. So what we're going to do is just type beside here, just double click meters, and let's just move that up. That's great. And then what I'm going to do is type scale bar one 100. I mean, I've already said in uh, the title block that it's a scale of one 100, but this is just clarifying everything. That's great and zoom to fit and that's our scale bar. I've also been asked to show you guys actually see that scale bar guys let me just zoom in the word scale bar 
I would actually prefer that to be aligned with the zero. So in order to do that, we just need to grid snap off so that we can move that without it snapping onto anything nearby. And that's great. I've also been asked to show you guys how to uh, include a north sign and it's very very simple it's just very similar to importing an image so if you go into google search you will see and type in um north sign you know floor plan you will see a whole range of those so if i just show you a google search there you go i just typed in north sign architecture and there is a whole range of north signs. So where is my north sign? Here it is right here. This is the one I have chosen. And all I'm going to do is go into layout. I'm on the layer called scale bar. And then I'm going to go to file, insert. I'm going to go to the appropriate folder, uh, scale bar. Select North sign and then click open. And you can see that the, the North sign has just appeared right here. So I'm just gonna move it over here and scale that down. I'm gonna press shift, make sure that the diagonal arrows are in the corner there and then click and bring that down until it's a size that I'm happy with and then just click off that and let's just move that over and obviously um, depending on where the north is you obviously can rotate that so let's just zoom in so we can get a better look at that and let's just say that north is a little to the left so we're just going to rotate that like so and then view, zoom to fit, and there is your north sign and your scale bar. I hope you find this useful. If there are any elements of SketchUp that you would like further information on or uh, more tips and advice, please leave a comment um, under this video or leave post a comment in the Facebook group or drop me an email.